Thanks for joining us for another edition of Issues and Answers. I'm Ian Boyne. Today we speak to the Minister of Science, Energy and Technology, the Honorable Andrew Wheatley. He'll be talking to us about the priorities of his ministry. We thank you so much for your company. Minister, good to have you on. Good to be here. Uh, you recently spoke in the, in the sectoral d debate and you outlined a number of things under uh, uh, your ministry. I'm particularly interested in the area of, of energy mm -hmm. and the initiatives that your ministry is pursuing in this area. Could, could you outline some of the more significant ones for us? Well, um, as, a, as a government, we take energy serious. We are pushing seriously renewables at this time. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have set as an, an, as an objective for us to achieve what we term our 30 in 30. What that simply means is that we are going to ensure that 30% of our energy generation comes from renewables by the year 2030. Mm -hmm. I believe that this is a very important move on the part of government from a policy perspective because we are very much vulnerable to shifts in the oil market. Yes. And especially now when the, oil, the price of oil is oh. relatively low, we need to capitalize on the opportunity and put in place the necessary infrastructure so that we are more dependent on renewables, seeing that we are not in possession of any oil reserves at the moment. Mm -hmm. And so it's a very proactive move, and it's also a, a very, uh, should I say, more environmentally friendly approach, mm -hmm. seeing that renewables are far more environmentally friendly. And it, it's, it will assist us as we move to improve our carbon footprint as well. And the the, the, the government is assured of the, the, the funding to be able to bring this up about. Because usually when oil prices are low, there is not much incentive to push toward renewables. There's a complacency. No, uh, surprisingly, we have seen a marked interest in, cre uh, in, in improvement in terms of interest, interest in renewables. In fact, the Waste to Energy Initiative, that is something that we have been getting a lot of unsolicited proposals for uh, to address the matter of proper utilization of our dumps to convert the waste to energy. We have seen also a number of proposals uh, seeking to uh, build out more wind farms and more solar farms um, in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. In mm -hmm. fact, we just completed a process where a company was awarded uh, the opportunity to provide 33 megawatts at the lowest price ever anywhere in the Caribbean at eight and a half US cents per kilowatt hour. That project will be coming on stream in 2018. It will employ approximately 200 Jamaicans in the construction phase and 50 permanent staff members uh, once the project is up and running. The start, uh, start of the project should be around 2017, early 2017. The project will be located in Negril, uh, Westmoreland, uh, the parish of Westmoreland. And so it brings employment opportunities as well as cheaper energy to Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. Minister, the thrust toward lower electricity rates, how are we, how are we doing <laughs> with that? Uh, I'm asking you at a time when, you know, the JPS <coughs> has been granted a, an increase, but, but what is the, what is being done to... Well, the, notwithstanding the fact that JPS was given an increase mm -hmm. based on the license that they, they have now, we are pushing for greater use of energy, efficient use of energy. Mm -hmm. So energy um, efficiency, efficiency and conservation is something that the government is pushing. In fact, I just had a meeting with the Clinton Foundation who will be assisting us uh, with some energy efficiency conservation process. In fact, the Office of the Prime Minister, Jamaica House, uh, will be fitted with uh, solar panels very soon so that the Office of the Prime Minister will, become, will come off the grid uh, and so it is part of that general thrust to ensure that we are more cognizant of the environment, that we use more energy efficient methods, and of course, get cheaper energy in the grid. And so we are pushing for that. In fact, the PCJ, an entity within the ministry, just concluded an initiative, a program where students uh, from the different high schools participated in a program that seeks to um, uh, give them the opportunity to look at energy conservation and address the energy issues at school. How will mm. they, uh, if they were given the opportunity, how would they approach the matter of uh, retrofitting and um, putting more energy efficient um, systems at schools? Mm. In fact, two schools 
uh, came out on top Campion um, College and uh, Herbert Morrison in Hanover where the PCJ because of their outstanding display and the proposal that they put up that the PCJ will now be looking to a system with actually building out the system that they designed for their schools. Good thing. Uh, we're going to take a break at this point, Minister. When we come back, I want to talk about that interesting silk program that you had spoken about in your sectoral presentation. Minister of Science, Energy and Technology, Honorable Andrew Wheatley, with us on Issues and Answers. We take a break, but we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.